handle cleaning and restoration. Well, hey, what's going on, Ohio Valley? Meteorologist Tyler Vange here. Let's figure out what to expect as we get ready, not only for that beautiful Sunday, finally cloud coverage getting rid of it, but more importantly, that work week and the solar eclipse. Let's dive all into it. So first, we're going to start out by talking about those flood warnings. Let's zoom in there in Guernsey County, Ohio. Now, we're looking more so into Wills Creek, and that's in Cambridge. This does expire at 5 p.m., so the northern portion of Cambridge. If you live towards Cedar Hills, just keep out of the area. They're still trying to clean up some of that debris out there. But even worse than that, we're moving up to Tuscaroras County, Ohio. There's Stillwater Creek at Urchesville. This is until Thursday at 2 a.m. Yeah, Thursday. And then today, uh, it's not even close to Thursday. So just putting that into perspective, they absolutely saw a lot of rainfall and all those rivers funneling in. So the rainfall from Pittsburgh and all the way up into the north continue to funnel in and just absolutely annihilate them with all that rainfall. Let's zoom out though across the region. What to expect as we head through this work week? We have a low pressure off into the west. Well, here's the good news. That system's actually already undergoing its mature stage. So see how they threw that occlusion in there and the low distancing itself from the triple point. That means the, the, the low pressure is going to begin to die down, not really bring us a whole lot of weather. We'll see the warm front bringing some cloud coverage, some instability, but not necessarily seeing the bad weather. It's more so going to be a nice warm up after a chilly night tonight. We're dropping back down into the freezing level. And with there uh, being a little bit of talk of seeing some fog out there, depending on how light those winds get, then it could settle down to the ground and become frost. And that's what they're seeing more so into western Ohio, but not necessarily here for us. So here's how it looks. The fog's going to set in right around 4 a.m. And then it's going to start to lift as winds pick back up right around 9 a.m. Then we'll skyrocket back up into the mid to upper 50s, lower 60s for our day tomorrow with sunshine completely across the sky. So make sure you have your sunglasses. You're going to be needing them. After that, if you miss the sunshine tomorrow, well, you're surely misled. That's going to be cloud coverage, rainfall across the board, back to back. Now, Monday for that solar eclipse, I'll dive into that in just a second when we get into predictor. But Wednesday into Thursday, thunderstorm potential does arrive back across the Ohio Valley. So make sure you have the notifications turned on and make sure you have a, a way to receive those alerts. But let's dive into that Sunday into Monday to time out the cloud coverage. So beautiful conditions as we wake up Sunday morning. Some fog starting to lift by the time we head into 9 a.m. We'll head into the rest of the day. So there's, there's the wind actually becoming prominent, choosing a direction as we head through the rest of your Sunday. But cloud coverage doesn't return until Sunday night. So we have plenty of time to get out there and enjoy sunshine. Here's how it looks on Monday, though. So cloud coverage present, some spotty rain out there to start your Monday morning. We'll head into lunchtime. That's the best chance to see those more uh, prominent doses of rainfall. After that, the cloud coverage continues to dissipate. Models are trending that we could see pockets of sunshine within this cloud coverage. That's good news if you want to see the solar eclipse, but it does look like the better chance to see it will unfortunately be the western side of Ohio. So that's kind of how we play out our Monday for the solar eclipse. I hope uh, everyone does get to partake in that or at least go in outside and check that out. I know uh, between the hours of uh, 310, 313, that's when it's going to start to really get dark here. But you'll still notice it between 2 and 4 p.m. starting to get dark as we get closer and closer. There's a look at your seven day forecast off and on rain showers. Don't forget thunderstorms decide to roll through as we head into Thursday. Breezy conditions will follow that as we head into the weekend, but the breeze will actually get rid of the cloud coverage so we can have some sunshine on our Saturday.